only way we go is with Waco. Now I've always wanted to cook some bread when I'm in the bush, but I'm going to add a little bit of a flavour to it. I'm going to call it a Vegemite and Cheesy Mite scroll. How's that sound? So first of all, I need to get the bread prepared, ready, so we can make the dough, and then we can put the Vegemite and then the cheese on it. So first of all, I've got three and a half cups of flour sitting in my bowl. We're going to need milk, and we're going to need butter. I'll just grab that out of the way, coat. I'm going to need warm milk and two tablespoons of melted butter so they can mix, okay? So let's get that warmed up and the butter melted. The milk's got to be warm because it helps activate the yeast. You need a bit of powdered yeast. Let's get cracking. So we'll put all those ingredients into the bowl. Like that, there's my yeast. My warm butter, two tablespoons of warm butter. Chuck that in there. My warm milk in. Just a little bit for now, just to check it. And of course I need two eggs. Now we start mixing. So what we've got to do is we've got to make a dough. So if you need to add more flour or, or um, more milk just to create the, the dough mixture that you're looking for. There we go, that's looking like a dough. Now the yeast is obviously to make it rise and create bread. Now I'm going to knead this for about 10 minutes. A bit of flour on here. And away we go. Knead the dough. See, I'm just folding it, pushing it down, folding it, pushing it down. Alright, now I've got my piece of dough, there she is. Now this thing's got to rise, so what I've got to do is I need to put a little bit of flour in, in a container just so it doesn't stick to it. So a bit of flour, cover it over. The yeast needs time to activate and start to rise. And that's it. Give it about an hour and we'll come back and see how she goes. Cut it all there, you can see it's risen up. About probably about 40% bigger than what it was. So we'll get him out. And we're gonna knead it a little bit more. We'll fist it in the middle. Just don't be too rough with it. And there she is. Alright, that's our dough ready to go now. Now, make the scroll. So I get my, my can here, this is my rolling pin. What I want to do is I just want to roll it into a long, big long snake. So I'm just rolling it into a snake. So what I want to do now is I just want to scroll it up into a scroll. So that's just a matter of doing that, simple. That's why they call it cheese in veggie mine scroll. There's the scroll. Join that bit to there. There's the scroll, here's the Vegemite. Get some Vegemite in it. There's the Vegemite on my scroll. Look at that, that looks pretty good, eh? And then all I do is put some cheese on top. Now I don't have grated cheese, so I've just got slices of cheese. A bit more Vegemite over the top there. That's my cheese and Vegemite scroll. Now I'll put it in my tin and it'll go in the camp oven. Now I'm just going to keep checking it. Half an hour, 45 minutes, depending on how hot it gets there. It's a little bit hard to control the temperature with the camp oven sometimes. So you just check it. That's all you do. It's the easiest thing to do. Well, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's have a look at her. Yep. She's ready to go. Let's get her up on the table and see what she tastes like. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, I'll tell you what, and it smells as good as it looks. Surely everyone's had a cheesy mite scroll from Brumbies or wherever, whoever has them, the bakery. And that looks exactly like it, except it's a bit big. Now let's have a crack at see what it tastes like. That is great. Let's see if Rod wants some. Hey Rodo, you want some of this? Come and have a taste. I can smell it, man. It smells like Check that out. It smells like a Brumby's bakery. Yeah. And you know what's better? It even looks like the Brumby's bakery stuff. 
I'm always the one that really tells the truth. Oh, you tell food. the truth. Oh, okay. That must be the thumbs up. That is good. That's mm. real good.